All right, hey, Cartooniacs. Dave McDonald back here with uh, day number two of Quarantunes. <laughs> We're all kind of stuck inside, so I thought that would be a, a fitting name for our drawing videos during this stretch. Uh, so yesterday we created, uh, we used personification actually to create a, and I'm just going to warm up here and make some simple shapes. I always like to just draw some circles or squares or rectangles to warm up. But yesterday we talked about personification. Go ahead and grab your pencil and maybe warm up with me. Personification is giving human qualities to things that aren't human. So food items. Yesterday I think I showed you a picture of a, a sock, dirty sock that came to life. So that's the great thing about personification. We can with fiction and comics especially because it's visual, we can bring things to life as characters that are a lot of fun. And yesterday we personified the coronavirus as a monster, which is basically what it is. And so I colored my picture from that video and here's what he looks like today. Yesterday we drew this using some simple shapes to start out. King COVID monster, I think we called him could call him anything. He's, he's certainly a, a menace to society. And I talked about today creating the hero character that's going to defeat this ugly character. So we'll do that. I hope you did some thinking about that and what that character might be. I did. And let's see, before we do begin that, let me just start maybe doing some other warm-up shapes. Before we do that, I did want to give another shout out to some of my viewers on YouTube. First of all, Gracie. Gracie, thanks for watching. Thanks for drawing along with me yesterday, and I did get to see your picture of your monster. It was fantastic. So Gracie, hello. I hope you're doing well. And then some of my Westview friends. Westview Elementary, I, I just love those folks over there, the teachers, lots of great fifth grade. I worked in the fifth grade pod with uh, Miss Gibson and Miss Matroni, Bobo Silver, Miss Hayden and Miss Cheshire, more, Mr. Gaddis. Uh, hello to you all. I hope you're doing very well today. Um, some of my students that were in my classes, Mackenzie and Kelsey, hey, hope you're doing well. Stryker, Aiden, Becca and Melissa, thank you so much for um, participating in your e-learning lessons over there at Westview. I know your teachers are doing a hard job. Please, please take the opportunity to thank them when you can. They're doing... Uh, they're doing a great job at getting you the uh, education that you you can you need, obviously, but the best they can do with e-learning while you're at home. So make sure you thank a teacher. All right. Today, the hero, somebody who's going to come to the rescue and defeat our ugly COVID monster. I thought of a robot at first, but then I thought it would be more fun to create maybe a cowboy robot. <laughs> combine two things and create a cowboy robot. So again, with my pencil, and you might today you'll need a pencil, maybe a marker if you're going to draw the style that I draw in, which is penciling and then doing some inking. But I'm going to start off with very lightly creating a little rectangle shape here. That's going to become the body of my robot, cowboy robot. Here's the neck. And then I'm going to put on top of that kind of a, another rectangle. Okay, and let's see, he's gonna have some legs obviously coming down here, some curved lines like this. And another curved line, curved lines, bring it out to the front. There's some robot feet, maybe we'll end up making boots out of those. <laughs> Let's see, he's going to have an arm that begins here. I think this arm, it's gonna be like little tubes, almost like the vacuum cleaner tubes. that will come around like this. Just make like a letter C with some, some shapes here. And at the end of that, make a circle. And we'll show the thumb. We'll just make little easy robot fingers, little rectangles, all right. And uh, he'll have another hand that's out this way, 
holding something to defeat our nasty, <laughs> our nasty monster. Okay, so let's see with, uh, let's see, let's give this guy a jaw. Let's see. A nose, an eye, and then put a curve line there. We'll give him a hat. Ran out of room at the top of that piece of paper, but that's okay. All right, so I've penciled them kind of out. Now I'm going to grab a Sharpie now and start to ink this character in, okay? Let's see, maybe make that thicker. The brim of the hat, okay, his, his jaw is on a hinge. This is his face, his nose, his eye. Leave a little white square in that corner and then color in the rest of it. Again, that hint of light, that reflection, okay? His neck, his body, let's see here. Yeah, I'll finish up his arm later, his hand later. I'm going to go ahead and create his shoulder with this, his arm with that letter C, the circle at the end, and those little fingers. All right. And this makes it look kind of like a, a metal hose or something. Continue his body. Okay, those legs, curved lines. Does your pen make that noise when you, <laughs> when you curve it? Makes like a whistling sound. Make the boots. This is a little shadow I'm adding underneath the, the legs just to show that there is some weight or mass over the top of the legs. All right. Okay, so now let's get a little more detailed with what he's going to be doing here. All right, he's going to be fighting off this monster with, obviously, hand sanitizer, <laughs> right? Got that there. That's how we're all kind of fighting this nasty virus at this point, isn't it? Hand sanitizer. So in his hand, I will draw a big bottle of hand sanitizer. There's his All right, Let's see here. the cap of the, these are, see again, these are all lots of rectangles. Hand sanitizer, all right. Let's go ahead and start to ink that in now that we've got the shapes worked out like we want them. Okay, we're getting there. Now we want to maybe put a label on this down here. Maybe at the top it says hand sanit. Of course, it goes around the other side. Make some bubbles like soap cleaning. Maybe this says, uh, Pine 
said. <laughs> okay, so for our, our uh, hand sanitizer coming out, Lots of gloppy, sloppy hand sanitizer on its way to defeat the evil King COVID. Some motion lines. Remember when things are kind of moving? Put those motion lines in there like that. Uh, let's see. To give him more of a robot look, let's take this shape here. Make a line down through it and create kind of these little bolts that hold them together as if he's actually made out of some kind of metal maybe through maybe through the middle here we have another piece All right you could even add one through his head he's actually made of metal okay so we indicate that maybe his boots will give him a little accent like cowboy boots <laughs> down the side. All right, maybe a little horizon line there with some out in the middle of the, well, if he's a cowboy, maybe he's out in the desert fighting this character. Right, maybe here we've got what do we got here? We've got a cactus who's watching on, who's frightened. He won't be frightened soon though because our cowboy robot is going to save the day and do away with our nasty COVID monster. All right. So how did we do with our cowboy robot? Sometimes after I'm done um, penciling and inking, to make it look cleaner, I'll take an eraser and I'll just go over the top of it and get rid of some of those pencil lines. It makes it look a little cleaner. Again, it's a two-step process with the penciling and the inking. Now it's a three-step process. Pi, if you watch the, another video on my channel. Pi, penciling, inking, erasing. Three-step process to create your artwork. Oh boy. And so there we have our cowboy robot ready to defeat our COVID monster. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> All right, I hope you had fun drawing your hero character. And uh, I'll see you next time. Please be safe, be well, take care of one another. And again, thank your teachers. Talk to you soon.